the crazy over here. Disgusting outside. I'm gonna start the next video here. Just edited a video, I'm gonna upload it. So make sure you go check that out. We're stopping to get fuel right now. I'm cooking. I'm cooking a sweet potato. And I'm gonna put some feta cheese on it and some butter. I've never had feta cheese on a sweet potato. I don't really normally eat sweet potatoes in general. I'm not a huge fan of them, but the um, concoction sounded good. I've seen someone try it, so I'm like, let me try that. That's what I'm eating for lunch right now. And then we're 30 miles away from our pickup right now. And then hopefully I can go back to sleep and get some more sleep in before tonight's drive. Welcome to the South because 20 minutes ago, it was perfectly fine outside. It wasn't, the weather wasn't like, it was cloudy, but now it's pouring rain. Tell me, that doesn't really make much sense to you, does it? That doesn't make much sense, right? bunch of parking spots here wherever we're at in Louisiana it's a dope spot because very actually like rarely do we ever come to Louisiana and there's like a bunch of spots open that's why I love coming to flying jet out of fine flying J and Petro 100% of the time I'm gonna choose flying J because their parking is there's so much of it Look at this, these trees fell down back here, golly, what did they get? I'm just gonna park right here. Whoa, you see what I mean? These spots are crazy. Alright, let's cook my potato. Now that would call for a bad day. This is lunch. It doesn't look great, but it tastes pretty good some butter and some feta cheese. No, that's chained up. We're back at the slaughterhouse. Look, they know where the good stuff's at. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go and unhook, even though it smells disgusting outside. But I'm gonna let carriage go check in while I unhook the trailer. It smells like chicken doo-doo and chicken liver. That's what I'm smelling right now. It's not smelling great. When I come to places like these, I just always notice just how if you have the means to buy local from your local farmers, do so because just seeing the conditions that these animals are in, it just, it's gross. Um, I do believe that, you know, everyone, we should be eating meat and animals, but I, I just don't believe in us consuming like animals like this because I don't know if I'm allowed to take videos of all the conditions that these are sitting in but it's like not the greatest you just have to see it to be, you just have to be here to see it back to sleep for a couple of hours I'm up and I'm making another sweet potato with some ground beef this is ground beef mixed with liver and heart. Let's go with my version. Fine. Jimmy wants some.
I did not know they sold packs of these here. <laughs> I'm gonna try this. And that one's good for now. Okay, well, I kind of just stopped recording throughout the night because I got extremely tired and my plan was to already stop pretty early in the morning so I could catch some sleep before we got to Laredo. So I fell asleep and I didn't even record when I stopped. And now we're here in Laredo now. And we got a lot to do. We gotta go wash the truck um do laundry do the dishes shower and we gotta drop our load at 4 p.m and then we're gonna go to H-E-B which is the real reason why we, why we really wanted to come here and I just woke up not that long ago do you guys want to know a crazy story Laredo is right by the border of Mexico and one day, Carriage and I were outside here at our terminal, and our terminal is kind of like as soon as you get into Laredo. We look over, and there's two people running in the bunch of grass. Like, it's really tall grass. No, it's not even grass. It's kind of like the tumbleweed. It's like the tumbleweed style stuff. Look over, and there's like two guys running, and we're like, whoa, where do they come from? And mind you, there's like nothing out here for her for miles like there's really nowhere else where they gonna come from i don't know it was just so bizarre it was like it was so funny okay i need to see what the temperature outside it's normally really hot here on laredo like super humid it says 101 on the truck let me see what the humidity is and see what it really feels like the truck is so dirty right now it's like grossing me out we don't have like any wipes in here to like lysol wipes to like wipe anything down right now when the truck is dirty it like I just I just feel dirty just sitting in it and carriage went outside to record somewhere some way and whoa maybe I'll put some self tan on that would make me feel a little better I use this brand Bondi Sands the Australian tan and dark which is not dark it's super cloudy out here in Laredo it's normally really sunny out really nice it's super cloudy like there is not a peep in the sky of nothing let me show you guys isn't that weird how it's like still cloudy but it's still a little like bright at the same time they're just they're everywhere okay there's a little is that a little peep kind of Normally when we come here, we pick up like a load from Mexico. They have drivers that go like back and forth. A lot of the times we'll get chocolate. Yeah, tame up these bros. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna end the video here and then start a new one with like our day throughout in like Laredo for the day, spending the day here. So, this one, I'm gonna end this portion of the video, start a new one. I gotta upload this one today, very soon. And then I'll start a new one.